Greetings and welcome to the Saturday Morning Vodcast podcast. What you gonna do, brother, when COVID-19 can't run wild on you? Let me tell you something, brother. How you guys doing out there? All you Billy Bumblers. Thanks for stopping by and checking out Saturday morning's vodcast podcast. Um, I got my second Moderna shot today. That's the only reason why I'm wearing no sleeves, of course. Otherwise, I would absolutely have sleeves on and I wouldn't be saying brother. But I am. I want to tell you the story from when I left here this morning to when I got home. It's not super exciting, but there are some fun little things that happened along the way. I left here at 9.15 for my appointment at 9.45. The thing is, is appointments don't mean shit when you get there. Um, okay, so what I want to try, let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, let's minimize me here. I'm going to get small for a second. So I'm going to cut away here. I was hoping that I could do this on the fly, but I'm having some issues and I probably should have set it up ahead of time. But here you go. Take a look at this. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it in post. Of course, I left myself this job to do now. Okay, so... It started right here, the line, at this corner of this building. So let's move up and take a look. I stood here for quite a little bit. And people kept coming up. It was crazy. So it started here. And it went down 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 here. I can't go over there. Okay, hang on. Uh... <laughs> and so it ended here. So the line went from all the way down here. This is called Jump. It's a place with a bunch of trampolines. You can bring your kids and they go nuts. Um, to all the way to this building, which, which yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but that, that, that's a significant amount of people when you pack them, you know. I mean, no one was social distancing. It was maybe four feet for most people. But then you get the assholes that are right on your ass and you're just like, get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, so there you go. I hope you love it. I got there at about 9.30, I would say, and I didn't set foot into the building until about 10 o'clock, which actually I don't think is all that bad, considering that by the time I left, that line was still there. Like, it just kept coming and coming and coming. Like, there were people when I was standing in line, like, and I feel so terrible for these people because everyone that shows up thinks that their appointment is going to get them to the front of the line. But when they realize that they have to go all the way to the back of a line of maybe 200, maybe 300 people, they're not happy about it. And I understand that you had an appointment, you have a life, but at the same time, don't make other people's lives miserable because of it. It's not their fault. Like I had to wait in line. The guy behind me had to wait in line. And let me tell you about the guy that had to wait well, that waited behind me in line. I don't know his name. I didn't turn around. I didn't see his face. All I know is he kept spitting the whole goddamn time, like 30 minutes. Every every few minutes, he'd just spit on the ground. I was like, what? The ever loving shit. You're in public. Like, you're around people. Like, I don't spit in front of people unless, like, you know, the bug flew into my mouth or something like that. Other than that, you know, that's just weird to me. It's gross and unnecessary. Like, I didn't vape in line. I didn't smoke cigarettes in line. I didn't drink in line, you know? Anywho. So I get inside, same thing as usual. They look at my little card. Oh, let me show you my little card. There it is. Boom. Now, I don't know if I'm going to end up having to get another booster shot. I'm not sure how this thing is going to play out. But um, I got my two shots. So I'm super excited about that. I'm not as nervous about for myself anymore. But the kids are still, with these, with these variants, you know, becoming the dominant strain here in the United States, there's been states that are reporting high numbers of cases in kids. And that scares the shit out of me, especially for Grayson, because his immune system is, well, it's not his immune system, but he's a frail child. Griffin's hardy. He can take it, I think. But I'm really nervous about him. And, and until he can either get the shot or this thing completely goes away, which I don't think it's ever going to do, um, I don't feel safe bringing him out into the public. I really don't. Like... It's a real bummer to me that I have to bring him to school on Monday to take one of his SOLs. Thankfully, he only has to take one. Griffin has four he has to go back for. Actually, Grayson has three because he's, he's wicked smart. So this time I did feel the shot a little bit. It was a little bit of a pinch, but it wasn't bad. The first one, I never felt a thing. It felt like a tickle. 
Um, and then they tell you to wait for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And I waited about 10 minutes this time because I took the first one and I was fine. And I knew I was just going to go over to the next store, a few stores down, because uh, I needed a, a new office chair. So I left, and on my way back, I decided I was going to get food for the kids at Wendy's. They love the bacon double stacks plain. And so I got in line there. And I kid you not, I was in line longer at Wendy's than I was at the place to get my shot. It's crazy. I was so... It's always a test in patience. Because you know, like, especially... All right, here's the thing. When I see somebody reacting negatively to having to be forced into a situation, which isn't really the worst thing that could happen to anybody at that point in time, like, like staying in line for 32 minutes at Wendy's is bullshit. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't disagree with that. However, obviously something's happening either inside or there's a shitty customer at the front of the line and it's not your place to be mean to people because you had to wait. And it is so difficult. Like, when I see somebody complaining, I'm able to handle it so much better. I realize, oh, I don't want to be that person. Oh, I didn't tell you about my Staples part of that story. Okay, so so I went into Staples to look for an office chair. Um, and I really didn't want to pay a lot of money. I mean, I would love to have a nice, you know, two, three hundred dollar office chair. But the fact of the matter is, is we have pets and it's just not worth the extra money. So I found this one for 129, which was still too high for me. I didn't want to pay that much. So I looked online and Amazon had it for 104. And I was like, oh, I could ask them if they price match. And if they do, then I could just get it here and walk away and we'll be done. Um, but for the hell of it, I went to staples.com just to see. And staples.com had it on sale for $79.99. So I went over to the lady and I could tell like she was not happy about the fact that I discovered this. Like, I don't know why, like, it's, it's not like it's a personal thing to her. So I asked her, I just said, Hey, you know, this is, um, in the store, it's marked 129, but on your website, it's 79.99. They're like, and she was like, yeah, they'll price match it. If it's one of our daily prices, she's like, you sure that's not just a screenshot. Excuse me. I, of course I kept it to myself, but I was like, no, it's your website. And so I took it up to the front. Um, and she kept looking at the picture. Like I, I held it for her. And she said, yeah, just bring it up to the front or whatever. But she kept looking at it. Like I, like, I felt like she didn't believe me. And she's like, go ahead. And I was like, all right. So I grabbed it and went up. And the two motherfuckers at the front, holy shit, they were trying to push a $20, like, extended warranty on this thing. They must get a kickback from it or something. I mean, they were pushing it. They're like, you know, $20, you know, anything happens to it. You don't even have to bring the chair and you can just come get another one. And I'm like... I don't want to spend another $20. I'm already spending $79. My, my, the ideal price in my head was somewhere around $65 because I know Walmart has a shitty one without arms that's $65 that looks like it could be relatively comfortable. And at $79.99, I was already over that, but this chair is real comfortable. Like, it's got nice lower lumbar support, and I swear the seat is extra padded or there's extra padding and... It's cushiony on your tushiony and the, the two arms, like this one, they lift up and down, which is great because I play guitar. So I'll put the guitar and just put the arms up. But this chair, they go up and down, just straight up and down, which I'm hoping that they kind of come above this desk level. Because if I could get my arms straight and I could keep my posture straight, as I've been trying to do, um, I feel like I'd have less back, neck, arm, shoulder, wrist problems. Do you like listening to me talk about how I'm getting old and breaking down? Well, you know it's not breaking down? These guns. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so... Oh, my Lord. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go check in on the boys, make sure they're eating their cheeseburgers, and get on with my day. I got a chair to put together, and I now have a video to edit. So, um, yeah, it feels good to, to be fully vaccinated, finally. I just wish everyone would stop being assholes and do the same thing because if we can get our here her if we can get the herd immunity up to about 85 percent we're good to go and we're only at about 20 25 percent at this point so we got a long long way to go and convincing half of this country is probably going to be very difficult i just hope i don't turn into a zombie but thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Podcast Podcast. Take care. Boy, howdy. <laughs>